welcome to another awesome video. Today we're looking at the Fisher CR25 stereo cassette deck. It's very basic, there's not a lot to say about it. It's cheap look and feel, it's complemented by the large amounts of random text printed everywhere. Why did we buy this thing? I'm glad you asked, son. It fits into our cloning machine. Start, Start. the cloning machine. Okay, the cloning machine is on. Now, send it through the cloning machine. We'll see what comes out. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. We got, we got two of these now. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing yes. how this cloning machine thing works. Here, see if, see if you can do it again. So put it through again. If only we really had a cloning machine. Well, we do have three sort of average Fisher tape decks to repair, and we're going to do a longer form video repairing them. If you don't want to see it, you may want to skip uh, quite a ways ahead. Okay, Mike, so don't clone the Corona or... Okay, let's just turn this thing off because we don't need a lot of these uh, mediocre tape decks. But anyway, as you can see, Woo! we've now got three tape decks that... to work with. All right, are we ready to start the... Father Son Tape Deck Repair Challenge. Okay, three, two, one, go. Alright, we got the, All right, so first thing we need to do is assess the situation. Let's plug him in and see what happens. Put this tape in, see if it moves. Yep. I hit the play button. Nothing. Hit stop. Alright. No tape movement here either. I got a motor though. We're ready to take this thing apart. Let's get going. First thing you want to do is take these screws off on the back. See them, there's three of them. Do I go left or right? Remember righty tighty left loosey. Either way, I might keep this tape deck if I'm able to repair it. This is going to be my first repair one. I might sell this one. I mean, this is going to work. Watch I don't know that anybody wants these. These are very basic tape decks. There's nothing, there's no features on this. Oh, just a word on the Fisher brand. When I first heard of this as a child in the 80s, I did not think of it kindly. I thought it was the source of mainly cheap plastic all-in-one systems, which was true at the time. These tape decks are like that. But if you go back in time further, Fisher, or the Fisher in the 60s, was actually the first company to come up with the idea of separate audio components, which is cool. Looks like the belt has melted on the flower. And, uh, okay, so let's take a look at yours. So you can see, can you see any differences on these? Like the transformer wait, looks wait, different. Wait, wait, look, this is gone. There's a black lid, yeah, it's yeah. gone. Transformer looks different. See how there's goo? The belt just turned to goo. Now, there's three belts on this thing. See this belt right here? This belt controls the counter. So if you turn that this- That one still looks good. Yeah, if you turn this, you'll see the counter moving. Yeah, watch it. I made a mistake. Don't put your finger in that. That's a mess over there. We've got to get inside there and replace the belt, which is going to be fun. There's two screws down there holding it in, and then this whole thing will come out. So let's see if we can get wait, it out. Wait, we gotta first get these screws off. I think that whole thing may come out. Why? Let's try the door. A lot of times these doors will just carefully pop out. Look, look, watch what I do. Boom, door's gone. Yeah, now put the door down. As you take something apart, put the things that you took out first, the first farthest away. So let's put this orange thing up here, and let's use our tape deck lid hold the next layer of screws. I don't, think I don't know how many kids your age taking apart a tape deck. Look. Oh, I just hit something. Huh. It just popped out. You see the eject button. It's fine. Okay, we're currently 11 minutes in. Good, good. Okay, let me, let me, uh, You've already beaten me, you're ahead of me. Yeah, we're gonna have to take off, see this plate right here? That's one, two, three screws, plate, plus this bag of wires here. Like we're gonna have to unbundle the wires. So let, let's uh. How are we supposed to unbundle wires? Well look, this thing, see this thing right here? It's just holding them in. Hit the belt. Hey mom, did you order lunch? You're way ahead of me on this, man. <laughs> look. What? When you pump the tape deck over, that happens. Oh yeah, go get a piece of we had a paper towel. We don't want to touch that and smear it into the table. We should have probably put down some cardboard first. Huh? Let me see if I can flip yours out from under there. There we go. Yeah, see that? Oh. Well, mom's gonna kill us after this is over. <laughs> we're back, we had a problem. Alcohol cleaned up those, all those spills off our table and that is exactly what we're gonna use to clean up the belt. 
we've got to do the worst part of the job, which is we're going to have to go around this flywheel, clean off the old belt, and we're going to have to clean off the motor, and there's really no way, I mean, I guess we need those, we need those blue gloves really probably before we get our hands dirty, but. We got to go, yeah, we check to Lowe's. To make this job easier, we actually took the flywheel out. No, I mean, just it's just nasty. See, there's two belts on this thing. There's this one back here and the main one. And then there's also another one. There's one, yeah. But look at this. We just got to clean this off. Look. And then the whole thing will just fly out the back. Subscribe and like to see more videos like this. I don't know if we'll do another video like this. I mean, where, how often are you going to get three tape decks for $20 or whatever? This one, I think, has the thing on it. Right, there we go. Oop, oop, the oop. I poured too much apple. Oh, right. got these things cleaned off. And my hands obviously need to be washed. So, we're past the dirty part. We've, we've washed our hands as best we could. We've cleaned up. Good, yeah. Now we're at the point where we're going to put this back together. I'm just looking through my belts. So, there's, there's, there's three belts on this thing that need to be replaced. One is the counter belt, which goes from the little reel over the counter. The other, and then the other two belts are on this flywheel. There's the big belt. Now, this, you really need a flat belt that goes there. And the flat belt, look, you see this? This is a flat belt. Those are hard to find because you have to order them specific to this model. These other belts, the little, uh, hand, me that, hand me that over there. Um, these belts, so at this point we need new belts and I have these little kits of square belts, but I don't have a kit of flat belts and I'm rambling on about how flat belts are hard to find. However, I did end up finding a kit of flat belts on Amazon, which I don't know how much of a quality they were, but these were just cheap, cheap tape decks that we're just trying to get going. So uh, at this point, we're getting close to the end of the first part of this video. We probably spent, you know, half an hour getting to this point. Look who joined us in the background. It's Otis. Hey, Otis. What do you think of all, these, all this stuff going on? Eh, not really. I think I'm going to eat it. He's not that interested. So now we're back. We, of course, had the, we had the round belts. We found a, some kit of flat belts, and so we found some belts that we think will fit this deck. And we have just... Uh, you know, sort of tack these back together. They're still in a state of disrepair. We've uh, segregated the screws. So we're about to get back into it and uh, see if we can fix these up. So let's go. I'm gonna put those there to prevent us from touching the plug and just see if it'll actually work. And when you turn on, it does start turning. Put the tape in. Like this is play. And yeah, so it does look like it will work. With these new belts. Fast forward, stop, rewind, pause, I guess. Maybe fast forward, I don't know. Let's pause, I don't know. Let's stop. But, big question is this piece, I don't know where it goes. It fell out at some point when we were taking these things apart, and then all of a sudden it hit me. This has something to do with record. So, if you remember the circuit that activates the record, you know, one of these standard kind of bar gizmos on this one. It's got to be pulled over by this this thing and as you can see you know since these are pseudo soft touch controls or whatever this little thing in here i guess for that this whoever sold these took had this already taken apart but basically it goes in there he enjoys box sports he enjoys box sports he doesn't enjoy tape decks oh well anyway so yeah so now we got that record piece fixed like what I've been doing is just kind of like laying the belt on there and then working that this end and uh, I'll probably edit that part out because I'll block the light and uh, you'll see the back of my head or whatever. But anyway, One of the things we learned the second time around on the second tape deck was this little notch right here. So there's a little notch right there that, that you can jam that spring behind, which makes it easier because you've got to basically manage the counter belt. You've got to align all these buttons as you do you do that. And also took out this uh, on this deck. Rather than trying to bend it down under this record bar thing, I just put it down there. That way I can go straight down and line up and then put that back in. So that second time has gotten a little bit easier. So that about wraps up the repair section of this deck. You know, th there's not a whole lot to say about these things. They're sort of like, uh, they're not the worst mechanism I've seen. They've got that mechanical soft touch control. 
sort of places it in the mechanism in a certain category. So if you think of the Yamaha we did most recently, that is electronic driven. And, you know, something like the JVC is all mechanical driven. You're actually moving the heads. Uh, the Fisher has a lot in common with the Techniques 222 model, which is a mechanical soft touch control. But unfortunately, that it adds complexity, it adds belts. And at the end of repairing this one, you get a nice dubbing deck with all these features and a cool meter. At the end of repairing the Fisher, you just sort of get a, eh. But it was okay. But anyway, we'll close it out with some sound samples as usual. And uh, thank you for watching this uh, long experimental video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time for another awesome video.